Hi guys, I believe Byline TV is the only media outlet that has actually gone to Port Talbot to speak to workers impacted by the current decision to close down a significant part of the steel operations there. Their reporter Caelan interviewed a man who voted for Brexit and the Tories, and it's important to remember this part of Wales backed leave in 2016. He was asked why, and while I respect this man's honesty, he does reinforce a major problem with how the EU is perceived by the public and how this idea was cemented by the right-wing media. Have a listen. I'd love to stay in the studio, because I'd love to be given the opportunity to carry on working there. But I just don't know at the moment. But the Tories were the ones that promised to save steel. Yeah. But nothing has come to fruition. That's in lockdown, there's not a lot of opportunities left and in this area. you voted Conservative in the past? Yes. When? I think it was Brexit, I did. And did you vote Leave? Yes. What was the main reason? Well, it was, um, you see, I, I see the European Union, there's a lot of, un well, a lot of them are unelected. Or I don't know if you know your local European, you, when we was in there, your local European uh, MEP. Nobody does. So you voted Brexit then, how do you feel about that vote now? Have you done it differently? Probably would have done it differently, you know, the way the world's going, because it's a lot more unstable than it was seven years ago. You see, you think of the Tory party, you think of a party who are concerned with business. And they're, they're, they're the party that does business, so it's financially... You know, the part that you think that, and you see Labour as some sort of socialist and the other trade unionist sort of party, and you think you get more done with the Tories, and that hasn't happened. They haven't created any jobs. Why do you think? Like a lot of these uh, the people who work there, they've been there 30 odd years. I say they might have children who are about to go and uh, embark on like in a career in the industry, and now they can't. So they feel like their future has been ripped away. They feel like they, you know, their offspring's uh, future has been ripped away. So uh, they, it's rock bottom. Well, it's the it's chief employer, it's the biggest employer. Um, so a lot of workers there, the second, third, fourth generation employees of the steelworks, which is different forms of chorus, British steel, whatever. You, you, you're reducing the numbers massively. What's Port Talbot if it isn't steel? Derelict. The perfect way to describe post-Brexit Britain, post-Tory Britain, derelict. Now, I don't want to beat up on this guy because I believe he's a victim of the lies being spewed by the likes of Jacob Rees-Mogg, Boris Johnson and Nigel Farage. So let's get back to the point. Why did he vote to leave the European Union? He was under the impression that, well, it's, it's run by unelected officials, unelected bureaucrats. People don't even know who their MEP is. I think this is the type of language that was being used by Farage in the run-up to the referendum. People, why are you voting for these people? You don't even know who they are. What are they doing for your constituency, your, your town, your city, your country? We don't know. We're sending these people to Europe to make laws for us. We should be making the laws ourselves. This is the type of rhetoric, and it was very powerful. And of course, the media did not push back on that. And unfortunately, the Remain side was not very good at dealing with these type, this type of rhetoric and these types of lies. Now, the other problem, of course, is the Tories and the perception that people have of the Tories. The Tories are pro-business, while the Labour Party are socialist and pro-union. Okay, you know, this guy, I believe, is a worker. I, I don't know if he's maybe a manager, or he was a manager. I don't know if he still has a job. But if he's a worker, then he should be part of a trade union. And many of the trade unions, not all of them, but many of them in the run-up to the Brexit vote were telling their workers, you need to vote to remain in the European Union because we understand that leaving will be bad for us. The European Union set a minimum standard for workers, a minimum protection level. And if we leave, that's gone. So a lot of the trade unions, not all of them, but a lot of them were saying it would be better to remain in the European Union. Um, and also this idea that the Tories are the ones who deliver while Labour mess about. Unfortunately, once again, this is, a, this is the consequence of the right-wing media having so much influence. They make, a, they make the decisions for people. They tell people how to think. And unfortunately, this results in people voting for both the Tories and for Brexit. Once again, I don't want to beat up on this guy because I believe he's a victim of this. He understands now it was a mistake to leave the European Union. Wales, I'm not sure of this part, but many parts of Wales received huge amounts of money from the European Union because they were deprived. Why were they deprived? Because the Tories had decided to deprive them of the funding they needed uh, to stay afloat. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what do you think? As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.